Hello. The purpose of this video is to show you how to make hourly reports in eQuest. We've started with the, just a default project file. Um, this is just from the building creation wizard, all the default settings. But we're not very interested in building the building right now. But what we're interested in is using hourly reports to see how the building performs over the year. So what we're going to go to to create an hourly report is going to go to project and site. And we want to go to the component tree, which is down here. Then we can see we have no hourly reports or hourly report blocks right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on default project, project up here, and go down to create hourly report. Okay, so this is good. We see that we are not in detailed data data edit mode right now. So that means we're still in like the wizard mode and it doesn't want us to edit any of this stuff because the wizard already put all this in for us. So this is good because you might run into this sometimes when you're doing eQuest. So very nicely it tells us exactly what to do. You can select mode and go to detailed data edit. Good. So now that we're there, now we should be able to create an hourly report. An hourly report one's a fine name, so we can hit OK. And the report schedule. We're going to go to the library. So what we want is we want the hourly reports schedule. So what that'll do is that'll just give us um, an output for every single hour. Then the report block, we can also go to the library to see what we have. We're going to do the EM um, hourly report block. And what this is, is this is actually the electric, the first electricity meter. So EM stands for electricity meter. So we're going to look up some utility bill data here. So we can hit OK. And then hit Done. OK, so this is the main thing where um, if you want to edit um, your hourly reports. So right now, we have hourly report 1 with one hourly report block. So if we open up our hourly report block, we can see we're going to get a lot of different um, outputs here. And again, the variable type is electric meter, and it's EM1. And we can see we only have one electric meter for this building, so that's why we see that. Now, so we can pick and choose what we want to um, do here. And I'm just going to say, let's just keep this all here for now. Uh, we can always get rid of it later when, after we export the hourly report um, and whatnot. So, um, once we're done looking at all of this, we can hit Done. And then, um, there's a couple different ways to access your hourly report in eQuest, but I think the easiest is just first to simulate your building by clicking the little yellow calculator up here. And you always want to save it first, which is this is why you asked you here. And now it's going to perform everything, and it's going to say producing hourly reports. If you saw that real quickly, it flashed up there, which is great. So what we really want to do is view the detailed simulation output file. This file is great. It has lots of really, really good information. And it's also how we can access our hourly reports. So it usually takes you to the BEPS report, the Building Energy Performance Report. So you can see you know, a snapshot of what your building is doing. But then the real thing we're going to learn here is the hourly results. So let's look at the hourly results here. So if we click hourly results, what's sort of nice is is it opens up all those all those things into our um, into Excel in an hourly in an hourly results report. So it's a .csv file, which is comma separated values. So Excel opens this very nicely, but other programs do too. So you can use any other programs. Um, so now we can get an idea of what's going on with this hourly report, and you can see that our spreadsheet, if we scroll all the way down is a little over 8,700 values. So um, 8,760 is the amount of hours in a year. So th in this way, it's showing you um, every single hour for the whole year. And, and what's nice is it gives you you know, the month and the day and the time. So that way, um, you can run um, certain reports. Um, if you want to do some analysis on this, pivot tables in Excel are a very good idea. And I invite you to watch the video on that. Thanks for watching.